How's it going guys? This is Matt from the Whirly Bugger Fly Shop and today I'm going to be tying the fortune cookie. Uh, this fly was designed to be fished uh, from a drift boat on the Yakima River but uh, it's also a really good fly to swing um, on a two-handed rod or uh, it works well for smallmouth too. So we'll go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so the first thing I did was took a standard streamer hook and chopped off the point, off the bend, and basically made a shank. Um, I did this because you can't, you can't slide the XI cone head over a lot of your, uh, a lot of your, like, intruder shanks, so basically made our own, and you can make it as short and, uh, or as long as you want, um, so yeah. Then I have 140 uh, UTC thread in fluorescent white. I'm just going to go ahead and lay down a thread base. And then I went ahead, went ahead and pre-rigged a size 4 Gamakatsu octopus hook on some large Senyo's intruder wire. And the length of your wire is kind of up to you. I like to, I kind of eyeball mine. I keep it about that long off the end of your shank. Just go ahead and take your time. Get it, get it laying as flat as possible. Lay down a super big, good thread base. Just tuck that wire underneath. All right, so I got my tag in cut on my wire. I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap over it a couple more times with thread, make sure everything's all secure. Then I'm gonna take, I've gone through and selected my two best. Uh, pieces of bleached white marabou. These are just strung quills. I'm just going to go ahead and lay one on top like so. And tie it off. Come in and lay my other piece. Basically just, just tying this in like a woolly bugger tail. And two ways to do uh, the body on here. I've taken a couple different types of dubbing and blended it together in a coffee grinder. You can either spin it into a loop or just dub the body on. Uh, if you spin it into a loop, it just kind of makes a wider profile. Um, <clears throat> But for this video, I'll just uh, go ahead and dub it on. So just make uh, make some thicker dubbing noodles. Let's 
to go ahead and make a dub the body. Leave a little room here. Go ahead and tie my legs. I have some shrimp pink uh, loco legs. I'm just gonna take do a few less. You kind of eyeball it. It's kind of up to you how many legs you want. I went with four, so it'll be. Four, uh, four kind of tentacles hanging on each side. Go ahead and tie and keep the skirt intact. And just split it in two. It's got two legs on each side. Go ahead and tie it in. And you can have them as long as you want. I'm gonna cut them kind of just in front of uh, my marabou. Now I'm going to take a piece of guinea. This is just natural guinea. Find the tip of it. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do So the next thing I'm going to do is take my scissors, just kind of go down that stem just to get my feathers pointed down, the barbs pointed down. Keep your legs out of the way as you wrap. And as I'm wrapping, I'm just pulling down. Got a couple fuzzy ends here, so I'm just gonna go back through, try to get these out. So we got our guinea collar in place. Go ahead and trim my stem. I'm going to take some red UV ice stub. Make a little gill pack right in front of that collar. And then 
we'll make one more pass of dubbing with that same mix. You can use just, just pearl, you can use minnow belly, ice dub, whatever, or whatever color you want. I, uh, I blended up some dubbing to make a kind of a multicolored body. So I'm gonna go back through one more time. And I'll go ahead and tie it off, slide my, do a couple half itches under that cone. glue it down and then the last step with these X side cone heads is you just uh, just glue your eyes in come uh, they come in different sizes but you just uh, put a dab of glue and slide your eyes right in these slots and that is the fortune cookie.